Whiskey Revolution by the Lutherian. Well, it all started with this vegetable. Farmers would use their leftover grains and corn in the form of whiskey as an exchange. Well, it all started with this vegetable. Farmers would use their leftover grains and corns in the form of whiskey as a median of exchange. Were forced to, they were now forced to pay a new tax. The farmers would melt the corn and ferment it, putting it into stills, then distributing it to, lo to other farmers, such as themselves. After the Revolutionary War, the government was in pretty large amounts of debt. They already had some items taxed, but they weren't getting enough money, so they decided to tax whiskey. Large producers can make an annual tax payment of six cents per gallon, while smaller product producers who only made ga whiskey occasionally had to pay payments throughout the year at a rate of about nine cents per gallon. Large producers could reduce the cost of the excess tax, so the farmers started rebelling. The frontier farmers deceased to the excise because it was the only payable in cash, something rare on the western frontier. The law required the states to be paid in the tax to be paid in coins, not paper notes that were often worthless. The officers themselves took a one percent took a percent of commission on the taxes they collected. While on the West resistance the excise tax by most simply refusing to pay the tax while others rebelled with violence. The government would send out officers to collect the tax, but most people made it possible. To do this, rebel rebels threatened anyone who offered to house the excise officers. More often than not, the excise officers received threats to his well-being, usually enough to discourage the officer from staying and trying to collect the tax. When an officer was brave enough to stay, the residents who opposed the tax committed such humiliating acts as tearing, feathering, and torturing the offender. This usually convinced the exile officer to leave the area. On August 1st, 1794, a group of farmers in Washington country, Pennsylvania, south of Pittsburgh, challenged and then burned down the mansion of George, President George Washington's friend and inspector of revenue in southeast Pennsylvania, Brig General John Neville. Loudest protests from all districts of the new nation soon followed. Many were loudest in the, the western countries of Pennsylvania, seen right here. The Whiskey Rebellion officers ended, the Whiskey Rebellion officially ended on the night of November 13, 1994, with the arrest of approximately 150 remaining rebels. But it was not until 1801 that the excess tax on whiskey was officially ended.